Hi, this is Dave with Customer Dynamics. Today I'm going to talk about creating custom translations. In a previous video, I talked about enabling additional languages for CRM. Now, when you enable those additional languages, any out of the box entities or fields will be translated. But if you have custom entities or custom fields, then you'll need to provide those translations yourself. As an example, uh, I've created a custom field color code um, in uh, CRM. And as you can see, this is a, a German translation. And the color code is the personality color coding of red, yellow, white, and blue. So to provide the custom translations, we'll go to Settings and Solutions. And we'll just create a new solution. And we'll call it Translations. Now since that custom field is on the contact, we need to add the contact entity. And the color code option set that I added is a global option set. So we also need to add that color code option set. Generally, I'll say no to include all the required components because it's going to give us more than we actually need. So I'll go in and manually add the color code option set. So we have color code option set and the contact entity. We can export the translations. I'm going to save this to my downloads file and open the folder. I'll go ahead and extract the files here. Then you can open up this XML file in Excel. So we have a number of display strings here. 1033 is English, 1031 is German. And as you can see, we already have a lot of translations. Let's take a look at the localized labels as well. So here we have the fields on the form. And you can see on row 327 here we have color code for the field but we don't have a translation for it. So I'm going to provide the translation here. And I can continue down this localized labels worksheet. And here we have color code which is for the option set. So the other color code that we we provided the translation for was the, the field on the contact and that color code field uses a global option set so the color code here is the global option set name so all I can provide the translation and I'll save you can disregard this pop-up that comes up just click yes. Now we'll need to put these files back into a zip folder. I like use the utility 7 zip, but you can use whatever utility you'd like to create a zip file. So now we're going to go back to the solution and import translations. We'll just browse to that file. And click Import. Once the import finishes, it'll tell you that it 
was successful or not, and it'll also suggest that you publish all the customizations. I'm going to go back to the other user that had German enabled and I'm going to refresh the contact form. And you'll see now we have a color code was translated into Farba and we have white, blue, red, and yellow that have been translated. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.